Hi friends, it's Miss Courtney here, the curator of education at the Muskegon Museum of Art. And in light of our new exhibition, The Art of the People, Contemporary Anishinaabe Artist, we are going to be talking about tradition. But before we get started, let's define or explain what the word tradition means. A tradition is something that has been handed down from generation to generation. It can be something that a lot of people do, like putting up a Christmas tree, for example. Or it can be something that is more specific to your cultural ethnicity, like having a quinceanera, a bar mitzvah, or participating in a Juneteenth parade. The Anishinaabe people, who are native to mostly surrounding the Great Lakes in both Canada and the United States, have lots of traditions. Traditional songs, dances, clothing, powwow gatherings, and so much more. And in Anishinaabe art, old and contemporary, you can see these traditions really emerge. Together, we are going to be looking at three artworks here at the Muskegon Museum of Art that showcase Anishinaabe tradition in contemporary ways. The first artwork is by Liana Asher called Aunt Becky. Right away, I notice Anishinaabe traditions in this painting. Do you see any? I'll give you a moment to think about it. If you notice the feathers and flat beadwork barrettes in her hair, brightly embellished clothing, and green ribbon tied around her braids, then you notice the Anishinaabe traditions present. This beaded top hat by Adam Avery is quite different from Asher's painting of Aunt Becky. And while a top hat may not be considered a traditional Anishinaabe piece of clothing, Adam Avery makes it so by infusing traditional beadwork, brightly colored flowers, and a turtle on top. The turtle is especially important in Native traditions because it symbolizes wisdom, health, protection, and longevity. The final piece of art we'll look at is by Jonathan Thunder and is called Quarantine at Grandma's House. This piece blends together Anishinaabe traditions of dress, music, and storytelling with pop culture video game characters and current events surrounding the coronavirus. It is a very contemporary piece, and there is a lot to notice. Take a moment to look at all of the details in Thunder's painting. I hope you enjoyed looking at the Anishinaabe traditions in these awesome works of art. Be sure to see these and many more at the Muskegon Museum of Art now until February 28th. For more hashtag SSFromHome materials and educational fun, head to our website at www.muskegonartmuseum.org slash education. This e-program was made possible by the generosity of Art Bridges and HowMet Aerospace. Thank you.